day of the tiger on the outside they're all set 1600 meters gates are open away they go club royal was slow to begin Charanga, the white blinkers began well a lightning bird shows up in the early part is hard to restrain on the left hand side gulliver's travel is tucked about three lengths off the leader Back behind that is Combat Cat. Wall and All is on the stand side with Seattle Sunset who picks up the stand side lead. Behind those a flying turn who's four lengths off them with Romeo. Then Club Royal, Magical Lad. Winter Fair is back towards their inside. That must be a good six or seven lengths off this leader. Lundy Star and Day of the Tiger are next. They're racing up now past the 1,000 metre mark and it's Charanga that leads them. Going to the 800, leads by two from Seattle Sunset in second. Combat Cat and Lightning bit behind those. Gulliver's Travel travels well towards the inside. Is four lengths off the leader. Back behind that is Flying Turn, who's hugging the outside uh, running rail with uh, towards the outside of that Club Royal. Then comes Day of the Tiger Romeo's Winterfair Magical Lad is further back with Lundy Star. As they come down now with 500 metres left to go, and it's still Charanga on the outside. Gulliver's Travels now asked to get closer. Has two lengths to make up with Wall and All. Then Seattle Sunset and to behind those ones comes Lundy Star. Flying turn is under the stick. Heading down to that last 200 metres. It's still Charanga on the outside. Lundy Star, Gulliver's Travel on behind that with Wall and All. But it's still Charanga who gallops smartly out here to win it. Charanga and Kamala, four lengths clear. And Charanga's eased up at the line to win it well. Second, Lundy Star, Wall and All third. Then Gulliver's Travel and Flying Turn never got into it. Number 11, Charanga took to the outside by Samunga Kamalo from a five draw. Never looked back after leading them. Those blinkers have worked a trick. And well done to Nishan Mudley. He's the son, of course, of Tony Mudley. Good to see these colours in the winner's enclosure. Dominic Zaki is the winning trainer and the three-year-old son of Mullins Bay. Brett, the Summerhill stud has won it. It's out of a royal prerogative mare, Dancer's Choice. Taranga wins his maiden today by at least four lengths and he was hard held at the line. It's probably three and a half at the end. Victory going the way of number 11, Charanga, who wins in good style from the Dominique Zaki stable, giving Samanga Kamala a winning chance here at the ball. And he's come through smartly at his third attempt at the track to get that maiden victory. I have to say, the blinkers obviously did the trick, but two decent performances coming into this race, Dom. Yeah, he wasn't quite ready first time when he ran, and uh, he ran a reasonable race and a couple of lengths off them. And uh, second start, he was terribly green, running from one side of the course to the other. So we decided to put some blinkers on him to sort of straighten him up and make him concentrate on the job at hand. Um, and he it worked perfectly, and uh, it, it improved him quite a bit. And uh, hopefully, he'll get a run in the a ready to run uh, 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 race. race yes. Well, I think a lot of candidates trying to uh, get those wins under the belt now to get into that race and to try and make the final field. But he did win in good style today. Not always easy handling the straight 1,600 metres for these young horses. Yeah, he didn't beat much, but uh, you know what? He won well. Mm -hmm. You know, a horse can only win, and he, he won really well. And I think he's going to improve from this, and uh, he'll be... I think next year you'll, you'll, you'll see his true potential, you know, he's also later on needs to be cut, he's a bit of a handful. Um, but a, a great ride by Shmanga, it rode him with confidence and, and it paid through and I just want to say well done to Nishan, it's his first winner with me and uh, good luck to him and hopefully uh, the, the run will continue. Well, let's hope, he's had respiratory noises in his last two starts, any concern, does he show anything at home? No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. But I think he he, he was hema concentrating okay. a little bit, you know, and he, he's that thick blood in his in his mm -hmm. veins, you know, so it does interfere with him a little bit. But uh, we'll work with that for a couple of weeks <laughs> until we, until we get to the ready to run. And uh, I know I know why you <laughs> laughing because you you said I need to be gelded, but <laughs> I do. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, we we uh, we're hoping for running the in the ready yeah. to run. And good luck to Nisha and good luck to my sponsors, Zach Speed and. Uh, Let's hope we can have another winner on the court. Yeah, and then we'll worry about the gelding after. Well done to Dominique Zaki. Always a pleasure chatting to him and, and so transparent as well with all his horses. So Manga Kamalo, it's been a bit of a quiet spell for you, but you're back in the winner's enclosure and hopefully it's the first of many more now for the season. 
Yes, you know, it's uh, it's been a bit quiet. Uh, all thanks uh, to Mr. Zaki. Now I've got in a ring. Uh, he came uh, a tons of confidence to said the the horse is uh, is ready and uh, he thinks mm. it, he he should win. Uh, and uh, from then I thought, you know, I uh, had to just uh, go and do uh, uh, do what I do best. <laughs> Absolutely, and you did it. He, he, I saw that you were drawn on the inside. You opted to bring him to the outside, and uh, just think that the better going's there, or that's exactly where the speed was. You know, uh, he came out pretty well, and uh, he he was uh, uh, lagging on the outside, mm. but so I, I thought uh, instead of fighting him to stay in the middle in, I might as well let him be where he's happy and he was leading, he was comfortable, and uh, you know uh, from then onwards, uh, I think at about the 400 when I pressed him, he was there, and uh, mm. I didn't see any opposition. So from then I just uh, grabbed him with nice confidence, and uh, you know if he, he came in nice field, and uh, I think uh, as Mr. Zeki say, he'll uh, he'll. He'll improve. he'll improve definitely and uh, yeah well done to also to the owners and uh, yeah to my sponsor Volta Kranz. Well congratulations to you I haven't chatted to you for a while so nice to have you back in the winner's enclosure and Matt continue now. Thank you Jules and uh, also uh, well done to the guys at stable uh, the horses were looking mm. very well and they took doing a good job. Congratulations there we go Samanga Kamala gets this one home for the Dominique Zaki stable number 11 Charanga the son of Mullins Bay bred by Mick Goss and his team out at Summerhill Stud having his third outing today he gets his maiden victory and well done to Mr Nishan Mudley great to see your colours out at the Vol in the winner's enclosure this afternoon.